Henny the hippopotamus lives in fluffy gardens. Henny lives here, at Splish Splash House to be precise. Henny is a very active hippopotamus. She always has so many fun things to do. She plays tennis with Tootie the elephant. She plays golf with Mr. Johnson the panda. And she even plays on the Fluffy Gardens football team. Henny loves everything sporty. And when Henny has had a very active day, and she comes home exhausted, she runs a nice warm bath and has a long soak. So long that her fingers go all wrinkly. Henny loves baths. She loves to make shapes with the bubbles. She loves playing with her rubber toy frog. Most of all, she loves how the water makes her all squeaky clean. Yes, Henny really does adore baths. Our story begins at the end of one very active day. Henny came home to Splish Splash House after a tennis tournament. Henny had won a little trophy for being so very good at tennis. After putting her trophy up for all to see, Henny ran herself a bubbly bath. Henny stepped carefully into the bath and smiled. There was nothing more relaxing for Henny than a long soak. When it was time for her to make herself all squeaky clean, she washed herself gently with soap. Now I just have to shampoo my hair, she said happily. Being a hippopotamus, Henny didn't have much hair, but it was still good to make sure it was all clean. She picked up the shampoo and poured it on her head a little bit. A little bit more. Oh, dear. Too much. Ah, squealed Henny. She got shampoo in her eyes. Now, I don't know if you have ever had shampoo in your eyes, but let me tell you that it's not very nice. And Henny didn't like it one little bit. She squealed and jumped out of the bath, grabbed a towel and rubbed away the shampoo. Poor Henny's eyes were all red. That was awful, said Henny to herself. I'm never having a bath again, she declared. Ever. She was very upset and went straight to bed. The next day, Henny played a game of football with her friends. Her eyes were much better and she was having lots of fun. George, the mean yellow dog, scored a goal even though he said he hated football. After the football game, Henny came home tired and covered in mud. She was about to run a bath when she remembered that she had got shampoo in her eyes the day before and decided never to bath again. Ever. But Henny liked to be squeaky clean and, well, she doesn't look squeaky clean, does she? So there was only one thing for it. Henny had to find a different way to get clean. Henny remembered that if she spills sugar on the floor, she uses a dustpan and brush to clean up. So Henny went to the cupboard and took out the dustpan and brush. Maybe she could brush herself clean. Henny brushed and brushed. Then she tried to brush the mud into the dustpan. She didn't get squeaky clean. She just looked a little silly. Well, that's no good, said Henny to herself. Then Henny remembered that if she spills a drink, she uses kitchen towels to soak it all up. So Henny unrolled some kitchen towels and patted herself with them, hoping to soak up the mud. She didn't get squeaky clean. In fact, some bits of the kitchen towels stuck to the mud. Well, that's no good, she said. Then Henny remembered that if she wants to clean her teeth, she uses a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Henny covered herself in toothpaste and began to brush with the little toothbrush. She didn't get squeaky clean. She just mixed toothpaste in with the mud. She was even more messy. 
That's no good either. She was so upset that she stormed off to bed. The next day, Henny met Tooty the elephant for a game of tennis. Tooty was horrified when he saw her. Oh dear, he exclaimed. What happened to you? And he explained that she could never, ever have a bath again. Ever. All because she got shampoo in her eyes. Tootie thought about this, and then he asked a question. Have you tried making sure that your eyes are shut tight when you put shampoo in your hair? And he hadn't thought of that. She realized right then that just because one bad thing had happened, she'd stopped having baths altogether, even though she loved baths. But maybe if she was a little more careful and kept her eyes shut tight, she could still have baths. Suddenly, Henny felt very happy, excited even. She dropped her tennis racket and ran straight home to run herself a nice warm bath. It was so nice that she spent the whole afternoon in the bath. Even though her fingers went all wrinkly. And Tootie had to play tennis by himself. Which was okay. Because he won.